Here's our outdoor unit. We'll pull this thing up. We'll set our new one back down on top of a new wall rack just at the bottom of the siding. Make sure we get the holes and everything cut up or filled up from the siding. We'll do a new disconnect box and electrical whip, and then those refrigerant lines will be a straight shot from the unit. That's everything. You do got a walkout basement, uh, so it'll be easy to access for the furnace and coil. Hey guys, we're at Brad's house. We're going to do a system replacement. We'll pull this furnace out. We'll set our new furnace back in the same location on top of a six inch furnace base. We'll do a new coil on top of that and build up into the existing supply ductwork. Return drop will get replaced and bumped over as far as we can. We'll do a five inch media cabinet installed next to that with a filler in between them. Flue pipe runs over to a swivel tee, so we'll replace that six inch, or that's a five inch swivel tee. We'll do a new five by four by four swivel tee back down into the system. Refrigerant lines will get flushed and pressure tested. They go up to the ceiling and run across the ceiling to the outdoor unit. Replace them? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got new on here. Okay. okay, so check that. We'll do a uh, we'll do a replacement of the refrigerant lines, and they just run to the outdoor unit. It goes through the wall over here where the wall rack is for the outdoor. Um, it's a nice easy run for us. Drain lines all run down into the front of the system to the floor, right down there, and. Gas lines, we got a shutoff valve and a union, so those are up to code, and electrical goes up above the joist, so that's up to code. So nothing really stands out as far as code violations, so we're all good there. So next I'll go take a peek at the outdoor unit.